What's going on everyone, it's Shrewsbury here, and I have a nice little code snippet for the Overwatch Workshop that I think would help out with a lot of different game modes that I've seen flying around the workshop. So this is a script that basically simulates a shop of some sorts. You can have money in your pool and spend it to get some sort of upgrade. In this case, I have one that gives me more money, and I can do this indefinitely, just for example purposes. And then I have one that buys a character for me. So when I go into here, I will buy Baptiste, switch to him, and start being able to use his abilities. If you look at the top left corner of my screen, you can see 0 out of 1,000. That is my current money pool. And when I go inside of this circle, I gain 100 uh, money points, whatever you want to call it. And each time I go in, I gain 100 more. And notice that um, it only triggers once again once I leave the square and come back in so that's how that works and then when I go into Baptiste's area I will subtract 300 and swap to Baptiste and that happens all automatically and if I were to not have enough money to do so it would not do that so um, that's how that works at the end of the video I'll share the scripts but I want to take a quick peek under the hood to show you guys exactly how it's being done so let's take a look uh, the first thing is I set up the two different menu options. So we once again we have get money and buy Baptiste. All I do for this is I go to the specific place in the world with my character and then um, I set a global variable uh, to that position by hitting this camera icon. So this will um, pick up the position of your character in the world right now. Right now I'm up on this balcony. I don't really want to change it, but if I were, it would update everything so the get money area would be up here. I do the same thing for B for buy Baptiste, and these are my two um, different options in the menu. And then I create effect, an effect which is just a ring around each of them separately, and then I put an in-world text, and this is um, just building a string that will appear in the world in a specific location, always facing the players looking at it, and one I just say um, more concatenated with money, and then I have another um, concatenation of buy, and then the hero icon string Baptiste. So um, you can play around with that to make your own different uh, menu options, but that's the basics, and then how the mechanics actually work is that we have our position, that's the uh, global variable A, and if the distance between the nearest walkable position of the event player and uh, that position is less than one, which is the same as the radius of that circle, you want to keep those consistent, then it will trigger the event. We want to use nearest walkable position because sometimes there can be glitches where you're not actually sitting in there, the, the game can um, glitch a little bit because distance is a sphere. This is a circle, so um, it, you can have some glitches, but it's fine for the most part. Then we'll just modify the player variable A and do that by adding 100. So player variable is what we are using for our money, and we display it right here in the create HUD text. And all we're saying is um, create a concatenation that's 0 slash 1. On the 0, we want our player variable A, and on the 1, we want... A thousand. That's just like some arbitrary cap I have. It doesn't really mean too much. And you don't need to constantly loop this. This will update as that variable changes. Now for buy Baptiste, we have first we need to check to see if we have enough money. So if our player variable A is greater than or equal to 300, then um, we need to also check if our position to it is less than 1. Then once that's happened, we can go over, subtract that 30, and start forcing player to be hero Baptiste. Now, sometimes if your game is a little glitchy and you don't switch to Baptiste as fast as you would like, you can always preload a hero. That's another um, block you have. I think it's, um, yeah, preload hero or something. Sometime before that happens, but oftentimes it's hard to determine what character we'll be switching to. But um, those are just some tips. So anyway, I will share this code for you guys. Uh, there we go. I hope this was helpful. If you found it helpful, please don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe on this channel. I make a bunch of tutorials about how to make your own Overwatch Workshop heroes and game modes. But until next time, thanks and have a great day.